What's up, folks, and welcome back. And guess who is also back? Lazy guy. Yeah. Let's play is over. <laughs> and today is my birthday. Happy Basu Day. Thank Lazy you very guy. much, Des. You're welcome to Des, Kane. We yeah, just say Des after everything. Yeah, basically. That's all you have to do to be an otaku. Yeah, David almost uh, messed up his clean white shirt here with a energy drink. Sad to make it obvious for everyone, huh? Yep, this episode is brought to you by Starbucks Double Shot Energy with B vitamins, Garnarna, and ginseng. So today we'll be playing Mega Man and Base. Um, game was created in 1998 and apparently 2002. <laughs> apparently. Apparently. Yeah, so new game. Alright. Lazy Guy is going to be playing as Mega Man because that was the general plan. Like, if you guys remember in the earlier base episode, I was saying I was playing base because that's an easier one for me. And I was saying I'll give the hard part, the dirty work, to Lazy Guy. Yeah, actually, um, base actually is the, the more, I would say, easier variation of characters in this game. Yeah. Because base has, like, everything everyone wants. He has the dash attack. He has the rapid shooter. He can shoot in all angles, which is completely OP in a game like Mega Man. Um, Mega Man just basically has all his basic things. Seems like this game is more or less um, built for base, yeah. from what I've heard from other reviews and stuff. But uh, it, I'm well, thinking though that like, while the rapid shot is good, it doesn't have that strength like the charge shot. Yeah, that's the only thing. But the but that only affects I guess players in a boss fight. But then again, base has all that agility, so he can move around in boss fights, which Mega Man kind of can't do. That's true. <laughs> Especially with a double jump. But on top of all of that. Despite all the advantages, though, I still got my butt kicked. Oh, yeah, but he has a slide, though. Yeah. Well, yeah, base also has a dash. Yeah, but I mean, like, it doesn't <laughs> make is, him, like, half his size lower and stuff. It, 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 it doesn't matter, though. Doesn't Except matter. for the shortcuts. At any rate, I would have to say this is my favorite classic Mega Man game. I was going to say in the entire series, but that would be a stretch. Yeah, your favorite is, um, what is it? Mega Man, uh... You X transmission, not transition. What is it? You think of command mission? Yeah, command mission. You always told me that was your favorite game. Oh, uh, no, not not exactly. Okay, uh, let me see. Let me see. It just about using names about any X game, and I'll probably it'll probably be a troll statement. Because right. I'm not the biggest fan okay. of X series. I got it then. Mega Man Soccer. I've never played that yet. It might be my favorite. I haven't played it yet. Okay, Sonic Drift. I haven't played that yet either. God damn it. Uh, don't worry. I got this. I got this. Your favorite Mega Man game is. Um, uh, Tekken Tag, Tekken, Tekken Tag Cross Street Fighter. No. All right, but at any rate, at any rate, this game, um, which I thought was pretty cool, after I kind of read up on the story of his creation person. Oh, wait, hold on. This part is about to be hilarious. Yeah. Before I get into that, we're going to see what happens when we run into our favorite boss, King. Proto Man. Oh, okay. You got oh, sorry. it. Oh, sorry. No, you go ahead. <laughs> Fine. Oh, no, I'll do it. You have gone too far, King. I won't allow you to violate this robot museum any longer. <laughs> I've downloaded all the data of the battle robots. Now I can create the invincible robot army. Since you are a robot, you are qualified to join us if you want to. Huh? It seems that your friend has arrived. You think? It's not like he was just standing there the entire time. Why is my cape blowing? I have, how is your cape blowing on the inside, Proto Man? It doesn't matter how my cape is blowing. No. You have the AC on too late. Wait, King, turn it off! Silence! Goes for the shot. Okay, so... Doosh. Okay, so he tells him to wait. And then shoots it. Like, wait so I can shoot you first before you go. Proto Man! It's... It's just a scratch, you know, nothing much. I'm just missing an entire half of my body. You seem to be bleeding internally. I'll take care of this. You know the doctor line for repairs. I'm on it. I'm gonna stop the guy. I'm gonna get you. Uh, I appreciate. I would appreciate. I would appreciate it if you shut the hell up. <laughs> I'll allow Green Devil to handle you. Okay, I'll get that Green Devil. Yeah, you know I'm just gonna let King just hop out the way. <laughs> but yeah, like I was saying, um, this game came out a little after Mega Man 8 in uh, Japan, actually. A lot of the people were complaining, because you know, during the PlayStation and Super Nintendo, 
Yeah, I, that was kind of easy for well, me. Yeah, let me note this. It took me forever with base <laughs> because of my little rapid fire shot. Actually, but you like jump and shoot ten times actually, to kill him. David, I could actually kill him faster with base. But we're not going to talk about that because I did oh, that earlier. Man. But at any rate, skill level aside. You haven't seen the episode yet. Oh, I, I see. But at any rate, um, I lost my train of thought. Oh, yeah, I remember now. Basically, um... This game was created after Mega Man 8. Mega Man 8 has similar gra- Well, this game has very similar graphics to Mega Man 8 as most people can see just without the voice acting. Mega Man 8 was the very first game of its time to- oh, We're gonna go to Cold Man first. Yeah. So it was the very first game of its time to be able to, I guess, the first Mega Man game to have, you know, voice acting and animation. A lot of people missed out on that because during the PlayStation era, Super Nintendo was still there. So a lot of people didn't own a PlayStation yet. Kind of like how now a lot of people don't have a PS4. They still got PS3s. Yeah. So Capcom came up with the brilliant idea of, hey, you know, we want to be able to allow everyone to be able to enjoy this new experience. So they created Mega Man and Base for the Super Nintendo. And now I guess they decided to bring it to the Game Boy Advance over time so that even people on handhelds can experience it to this day, which is why it said 1998-2002. Now I feel stupid. But at any rate... <laughs> Well, it was, I guess, remade, so technically you were right. Now, the only bad thing is that we're literally getting half the experience, literally, because a lot of the time, you see the top section of the screen up there? We're supposed to be able to see up there, so that way we can actually see what's ahead, and, and see what's ahead. But since it's the Game Boy Advance version, a lot of the screen was cut out. So, it's actually, we're actually playing a harder version, so to speak. we got to have a little more... We have, we're going to have a more difficult time, basically. So this is the MLG run of Mega Man and Base. Basically. Because yeah. we can't even see what's above us or what's going to happen at the time. But I mean, like, whatever happens above us anyway. I mean, like, not like anything important, I'm sure. Yeah, you know, not like, you know, there's stuff dropping out of the sky and nah. things killing us. I mean, when it appears on screen, that's when it'll happen and that's when it'll be important. Yeah. So yeah. I already noted in one of the earlier episodes. Actually, I don't know how this episode uploading is going to go because... It's either going to be mixed, or it's going to be like my full playthrough and then Lazy Guy's full, th full playthrough. But uh, one thing I did note anyway is that like the CDs that you see, D, are shared across all four files. So thankfully if you have a friend you want to share it with and you say like, hey I already got all these CDs here, you can say, hey buddy, uh, you can get the rest of them. Just make sure you don't use all four files for base and or just Mega Man. Yeah. Yeah, because then otherwise you will never be able to get all the CDs without deleting another file. But I don't know what the CDs do. So what do you remember what the CDs do? Yes, they do. The CDs gives you data on a lot of the robot masters and enemies and characters throughout the entire game. Like uh, for instance, um, if you want to know uh, Magnet Man's um, barcode number, what he's thinking, what he likes to eat, <laughs> all that good stuff, it tells you everything. Wait, they eat food? Like I, food, I, food? I can't remember. It's like it was. Oh. I was just kind of like a like, it like a generalized. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> I was like, wow, I wonder what Mega Man, Mega Magnet Man really does like to eat. I mean, like, it tells you what, they're fa what they like and dislike and stuff like that. I can tell you what he does like to eat. What does he like to eat, Davian? Food that's high in iron. Yeah! It's been a while since I had to face palm through the mic. <laughs> Good thing you have that game pad in your hand. I'll make the sound effect for you. No, I, no I'll, I'll face palm with the, with the pad. Nah, man, I don't have the warranty covered on that. <laughs> Cost seventy dollars. You're not worried about me getting hurt? No, nah, you'll be fine. But like, it cost seventy dollars to get that game back fixed by Nintendo. So, yeah, let's not have that happen exactly. So, um, what was your? That was your experience with this game as a kid. I hated it. No, no. Uh, well, honestly, being, as a kid. As a kid. Yes. I played it. I beat it eventually. Oh, I so you also oh, you beaten this game before? I believe so. I now, I now when you say beaten, did you get the Wally's Castle? I believe I did, but I just can't remember, like, how far I got, unfortunately, or, like, how much trouble I had. I know it's a Mega Man game, so it had to have been hard. Wait, so if you're not sure how far you got, then are you sure you beat it? I'm pretty sure I beat it, but that's as much as I could say. Because you had to have beaten all of Mega Man's side, all of Base's side, and then went through Wally's castle, beat all his bosses again, and then fought Wily. I really believe I did, and I wish I could find the cartridge, but I must have sold it to GameStop, which I highly regret doing. They'll never, well... If you have a game that you know you never want, then yeah, sell it to GameStop or sell it away. But like, really think about it. Like, is this a game I think I'm going to want to play later in the future? And if the answer is yes, then, you know, don't sell it. Because you're going to give away a lot of games, and when you get older, you're going to say, Hey, I feel like playing this game. Oh, I don't have it. And yeah. or... Yeah. And the other thing, too, is like, the game could be worth something later on. Usually not, but it could be. Or you might just want to have a collection, like I'm trying to make now. 
which I regret selling all of my old games, because I was already that kid that couldn't afford a bunch of video games to begin with, and man, you're slowed down a lot. Look out! Good job. So, yeah, don't sell your games unless you really think you want to and or need to. Pro yeah. tip by D -D 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 -T Fox. Something I didn't learn as a kid and I learned to regret later selling my games is to get some more games I'm not going to play and they'll sell me back anyway. Yeah. Like an endless cycle. And like that's kind of what games... Good job. <laughs> 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 that's what GameStop relied on. But yeah, at this rate, like I was hoping like in my playthrough it would be like one boss per episode. So yeah. we're going to keep that going and we'll see how that goes. But then that could mean a very long episode if we get our butt kicked. But we'll see how that goes. For now, he beat Iceman and he got... The ice wall. Yeah. I'm going to shoot you with this ice wall, man. Take that. It's the ice wall. I push it. One, two, three. Bam, bam, bam. You're done. Douche. Deuces. <laughs> As you can see, the ice wall, it just creates a wall and you can slide it. You can also surf on it like a surfboard if you're clever. There's all kinds of things you can do and probably get yourself killed in the process. Which would be hilarious. Yeah. So, uh, yeah, data two is fine. Data one's the base file. You can see how poorly I've been doing. It's too late. All right. So, yeah. GT Fox, lazy guy. See you later. Peace.